Vatican openly admits it embraces Babylon. It is interesting to know how often our church has availed herself of practices which were in common use among pagans. Thus it is true, in a certain sense, that some Catholic rites and ceremonies are a reproduction of those pagan creeds. It has often been charged that Catholicism is overlaid with many pagan incrustations. Catholicism is ready to accept that accusation and even to make it her boast. The great god Pan is not really dead, he is baptized. Cardinal Newman admits in his book that the use of temples and these dedicated to particular saints and ornamented on occasions with branches of trees, incense, lamps, and candles, votive offerings on recovery from illness, holy water, asylums, holy days and seasons, use of calendars, processions, blessings on the fields, sacerdotal vestments, the tonsure, the ring in marriage, turning to the east, images at a later date, perhaps the ecclesiastical chant, and the Kyrie Eliasson are all of pagan origin and sanctified by their adoption into the church. The penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and well known that Rome was called the New Babylon. In order to attach to Christianity great attraction in the eyes of nobility, the priests adopted the outer garments and adornments which were used in pagan cults. The church did everything it could to stamp out such pagan rites, but had to capitulate and allow the rites to continue with only the name of the local deity changed to some Christian saint's name. In Stanley's History, page 40, the popes filled the place of the vacant emperors at Rome, inheriting their power, their prestige, and their titles from paganism. May God truly bless all of his saints to understand what the Vatican really is. May God bless.